Hello and welcome to Tech Tuesday with Wade and Travis. Today we are going to show you how to load money into your student's uh, food account. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your parent portal account and it defaults to the message center here. What you need to do is select the pancake stack or the three lines in the upper left hand corner. From here you'll see a pop up menu and one of the options is food service. From here you can see your account balances and your account numbers. What you need to do is hit pay and this lets you enter your custom amount that you want to submit. I'm going to only put one dollar for this student and I'm going to hit add to cart. Now over here you can see my items and cart has been updated. I'm going to select my cart and I'll notice that I'm submitting a dollar to be added to the account. There is this two dollars and fifty cent service fee every time you do this so just be aware of that. Um, and then if necessary you need to add a payment method. This payment method can be chosen to stay on file to be the default payment method for any future transactions through Infinite Campus. But the last thing you're going to want to do after that payment method is added is hit submit payment and then you are finished. Now you might be wondering how to be notified on your student's account that if it's getting too low. Usually Infinite Campus sets a default notification for you, but we're going to show you how to make that adjustment just to make sure it's checked for you so you get notified if your the account is low. So if you hit the person in the top right hand corner, go ahead and hit settings and then you'll hit notification settings. Uh, these are all the different notifications you can receive from Infinite Campus. You'll notice that the lunch balance is low box is not checked. If you want to receive notifications, click that check box and then adjust the amount to if it gets less than a certain amount, it will start sending you emails and notifications about it. I want to put it up too much because it could be very annoying if it's always notifying you that you need to load money into the account. So make that adjustment. Once you do that, go ahead and hit save and then you will start receiving notifications uh, about the lunch balance. And that was it for today's Tech Tuesday. This is Wade and Travis and we will see you next week. Bye.